Hello, my name is Gina, and you are about to watch me screw up a bunch. Today, what we're going to be doing is filming this look right here that I put together. I really wanted to try something new to push myself and decided to go ahead and film it to see what happened. And what happened was that I struggled with it a bunch and I hope that through watching me struggle and kind of get to, I think, a good place that you feel empowered to make mistakes and uh, be brave in your expression. With all of that said, let's get into it. So I'm, I'm sleepy as hell, so if, if this is a little uh, understated, <laughs> that's why. I'm starting off with Yacht Life from uh, Colored Rain, and that's gonna be my, hopefully my darkest shade. I will also say there is some construction going on uh, outside, so there may be some noise there, and I will, I will do my best to cut it out or not try and talk when it's bad. There were like police cars going by earlier, like trying to clear cars off the street. And that's how I woke up this morning. I'm gonna take a very slightly lighter blue, which is Neo Blue, also from Color Green. I'm gonna, on a fluffier brush, uh, bring, maybe, bring that through here. We're not going for like a super like defined crease here. We're just getting some subtle dimension in. Now I'm gonna grab an, a little bit darker color. It wasn't my intent originally, but since these two are so similar, I do want a little bit more in the way of depth and dimension here just for what we're going to attempt today. So with my small one, I'm grabbing a navy. This is Egide by GP's Place. And this one doesn't really adhere super well to the to like other matte shadows, so it may have some problems. I'm gonna take a large shader brush in the in Neo Blue. And I'm just gonna pat that on the lid. And then I'll bring it up a little bit into where like that base definition is supposed to be to make sure it stays there. So this is a little messy but it should be mostly okay. Take my first brush and just kind of buff this blend out a smidge. And then again with Neo Blue. And I'm using more padding motions than sweeping just to make sure that like it, it sticks. And I'm gonna bring it back up again with that same brush and pat it. So I don't know how well this picks up on camera, but we have this very subtle corridor of slightly darker color. And that's exactly what we're going for. However, I'm gonna pick up like a dark slate gray. This is Blackout, sorry, this is Blackout from the Ace Beauty Fallen palette. Basically, I'm putting this where I would typically cut my crease. I'm using just the tip of my, my brush here. For this, we want a very like precise application. This is Neo Blue, going back in with that. So that's got a little bit more of what I was looking for in terms of like, we have this down here, and then we have this corridor of a slightly, like very slightly darker color, and then back out into the lighter color. If you are not me, and you didn't throw away your nude color eyeshadows in a fit, and you're in, in this place, go ahead and take that and blend out these edges here. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use my highlight cover color to cover it up uh, when I get there. So I'm going to take this shadow. It's called Limelight by JD Glow. And I'm gonna do something a little crazy and I hope that it works. I have here my mixing palette, my NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium, and it's called a palette knife. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the palette knife and essentially scrape off some of Limelight into my palette. It's a very emollient, thick, almost oily feeling shadow. Like, look at this, I'm so excited to use this. Uh, okay. So you shouldn't need a ton. And then I'm gonna put some of my mixing medium in there. So I have a very loud construction thing going on, of course, because now I'm like a little pressed for time. So I, I mixed that up in the mixing medium and 
I'm testing it out on my hand to make sure that it's opaque enough because it's gonna have to go over the top of this blue. This is, uh, this is a paintbrush from Dugato. It's actually called a liner brush and it's, it's for paint. It's not really for makeup, but we're gonna make it work. This is performing very well, much better than I thought it would. Uh, I will say that I can tell you right now, my shape is not going to be what it should be or what I would want it to be. So let's just set those expectations real low. <laughs> so I don't know if you're like piecing things together earlier, but essentially what I did was I created the illusion of depth in that corridor that I wanted this liner in. do my regular eyeliner here and we're not gonna connect them but I do kind of want them to have the same general shape I I really like this liner brush if you don't need your line to be thin it's it's great it puts down a lot at once I'm of two minds so my line up here is a little wobbly um, it's thicker in some places than others and there's a part of me that, that does want to go in and fix that. But I'm afraid that if I do, it's going to end up like really thick and just out of control. So I'm going to leave it for now at least. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a somewhat stiffer brush. Something like this. This has a straight line. And this might be a mistake. Watch me do this before you try it. And I'm hoping that it will help me kind of fill in these gaps here just like just gonna like more stamp it than anything I say as I decidedly do not stamp it um so I'm like I've got I've got my hands like this and my elbow is on the the desk in front of me and I'm looking down at this mirror I'm just trying to fill in these places where I feel like it's a little wobbly and I'm relatively happy with that. I do... It's, it's, it's getting to that point where it is doing crazy things. So I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna put my liner mixed to the side. I'm gonna do the shadow on the other eye and then kind of let this dry down some. I will be back before I do my face makeup to see if we can shore up this line a little bit with eyeshadow instead. But I wanna try and get my shadow done so I can get this liner on before it dries out too much. So that's what's about to happen. Okay, so my other eye is done and in pretty typical fashion, it's actually closer to what I wanted than my right eye. So we're gonna try and clean the right eye up a bit. As I kinda get situated here, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I'm not going to do because I think that's just as important as like what I end up doing. Ideal situation is that the shadow that I used, this neo blue here, is opaque enough to cover the gold. I don't think it's going to be. I could, in theory, wet it or put down some glitter glue to make it adhere just fully opaque. I'm not going to do that unless I have to because I anticipate that wetting it in any way, whether with a medium or with a glue, is going to make it darker. And we want to keep that darkness up here as much as we can, but also it will make it much harsher. We won't be able to blend it. So if it's dark and it doesn't blend, then it's just dark spots around. If I can't do that, then what I might do is actually take one of the darker shadows and do that. And this adjusts the look a bit in that like we don't just have like a hole or whatever that this sits in, in terms of the depth of the look, but having a little bit of crease definition in this area that's blended out, well, isn't the end of the world either. So those are the, the first couple of things that I'm thinking in terms of how to approach this. Hopefully we won't have to take any drastic measures. Hopefully Neo Blue will be opaque enough to cover it. If not, we'll see what we do. So grabbing Neo Blue on this flat liner brush, and I'm just gonna, yeah, that's not really doing it. Let's try a different brush, one that's gonna pick up a bit more product. So I'm gonna take a, a pencil brush and do more or less the same thing. 
it is helping some. Um, it is like going over the top of the thing and it is sticking. Just the gold is so strong that it's it's pulling through. And to be honest, Neo Blue isn't exactly opaque. I could take my navy, but we already know that's not gonna stick. I'm gonna take one last ditch effort. This is like my, my itty bitty brush, which I, this is what I typically use to shore up things like this. And I'm kind of hoping, no. That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. There are also like differences in shape that I see too. And I'm just, I'm pondering, I'm pondering. So I'm gonna have to like kind of come off camera a little bit. I'm gonna look straight into the mirror that's behind the camera and try and even up this shape. And I've got my arm propped up on my wrist, which is on the table. Let me actually, I'm gonna, you can follow me. Oh, no, this was a bad idea. <laughs> oh man, all right. Well, at least the shape is better, but like, obviously now like the top is really thick. I, this is the kind of thing I actually really like to film, is like, I just fucked up. <laughs> how do I fix it? You know, how do I make it better? And I think kind of anything that we do here, you can apply to your wing liner in general, because this is just another wing liner. To be honest, I'm kind of like leaning towards the like, make it thick on the other side solution which I can hear you guys screaming don't do it that's how it always begins actually so if I if I'm okay with the shape of this on the bottom which I think I am I can probably go in with my gray shade which I think will be a little bit more opaque and kind of trim off some of the shape on top yeah I mean this gold is is just is really very strong. Yeah, that didn't really help. I was like super sleepy and now I'm like, ooh, I have a makeup problem to solve. Now I feel energized. Just kind of blending that out a, a, a smidge. And then since I intensified that gray on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do it here too. It takes away some of the vibrancy of the look, which is sad, but just life. It's just life. Another option we have before we start completely over is to go in with the Smashbox 24 hour primer and kind of cut away at it through here and then, you know, take it, like, it's gonna take a lot of it off, but it's not gonna take all of it off. I think that's what we're gonna try next. <laughs> this is like a long, long road, my friends, if you are a picky ass bitch. <laughs> so I'm, I'm using my itty bitty brush. I'm just picking up some of that. I should do a video on like, so you got that Smashbox primer in your boxy charm. What the hell do you do with it? Because it's actually incredibly, incredibly useful, but just greater in other like forms. Actually, you know what guys? I'm just gonna have to start this eye over, I think. This is not going the way I planned. All right, well, this is, this is one of the reasons why I like do my eye makeup first. Um, I'll also see how you, how that's flaking. Yeah, that never ever would have come off uh, just gently. This is one of the reasons why I do my eye makeup first because especially if I'm doing something more complex, I know it's very likely that I'm gonna have to start one, if not both of my eyes over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish taking this off. I'm gonna leave you with me looking like I just got into a really awful fight. Go ahead, I think, and at least reapply my eyeshadow. I don't know if I'll do the liner again or not, and I will come back. Hey, okay, so construction is still going, so I don't know how much I'm gonna talk, but my base is done, and I'm gonna try this again. I am not worrying my little head about them being even. <laughs> Don't get paid enough for that. I am way out of frame, I'm so sorry, let me. So when I am stressed or having a hard time, I get like knots in my shoulder. Not just like my shoulder, but like my shoulder blade, so it's my back and it it makes it hard to like sit here and, and do stuff and so I'm sorry. <laughs>
but it's it's definitely going on much more smoothly like it it's not uneven so like it's not bumpy that's not what i'm trying to, the shape is more you know stuff and things you're gonna want as much pliability in your mix as possible so don't be shy and mix more and if you're working with one of these galaxy shadows you've got plenty going in with the mix nyx multitasker medium again if i were a good youtuber i would just like show you this but i'm not i am neither a good youtuber nor am i going to show you this I have been wanting to do like blue and gold for forever and just haven't, so this is fun. It's a fun way to do it. I just had a wonderful fight with myself inside my brain where I was like, actually, I kind of like the shape of the right eye better now. No! <laughs> We're not doing anymore. At this point, I'm just poking at it. You, like, you should feel very much, like if you're at this point, you should feel very much like you've accomplished a great deal because um, this is cool. I'm just, I'm just picky, I'm sorry. It's, it's my nature. I'm done, I'm done, I swear, I swear. I'm gonna pick up some Neo Blue and just shore this up a little bit. Here. I'm not adding like shadow to the liner. I'm just bringing the brightness all the way up to the liner so that we keep that the depth effect the way that I planned to. Okay, so next step is to clean up all of this mess down here, do my face, and I will be back to do the lower lash line. Some fucking blue eyeshadow cut everywhere everywhere <laughs> hey i'm back uh ready to do the lower lash line the uh, inner corner all of that good stuff still noisy outside still sorry there's not a lot i can do about it so the the, the fundamental question here is like do i want to continue the blue on the bottom or do i want to do something different and honestly i think i want to continue the blue on the bottom hopefully i can do it in a way that doesn't like suck I'm so angry at this eyeshadow right now, Neo Blue. If you can see, it's pretty much come off of the inside of my eye, and I'm pretty pissed off about it. Um, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to keep using it. So I'm grabbing two little brushes for the moment, and I'm gonna go into Yacht Life, which is that first medium blue shade with my floof. Tap it out and then just kind of work it here just as the first step. And this is the thing about these freaking colored rain pigments, at least the blue ones. They are not nearly opaque enough and they sink into the skin. So because my skin has a yellow undertone, it looks green. And that just makes me angry. I might get rid of these shadows to be honest. There have got to be other, better blues in the world that don't do this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is the best, the best that I can get and I'm being a bitch. But at the moment, I'm thinking about getting rid of them because I'm mad. And then I actually, I think I'm going to take the gold that we used. We're just going to keep this really simple. I'm going to take the gold that we used. And this is, I'm going to take a pencil brush with that gold shadow. And I'm gonna hold off on spraying it for the moment because I'm not sure what's gonna happen. So you see, when we don't spray it, it's it's good, but it's also pretty flaky. I'm also not sure that was the right call. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of you know, blend it out a bit. Yeah, I don't. I, I think I'm just gonna keep the lower lash line blue. Um, I think that's probably the best bet. So I'm gonna go with my pencil brush now over that gold and just try and cover it up some. We're not gonna be entirely successful in that endeavor, but I am not at all wanting to to like do what I did with 
the upper part of this, which is like completely start over because I did a lot of face makeup and I don't really feel like doing that again. So I'm gonna go, now I'm gonna take my navy, the Egide, which I feel like I just should have done to begin with. And I'm gonna put that right over the top. We're just gonna try and replace it as much as we can because of that green factor. Now this is really not what I wanted. I was thinking about naming this makeup struggle for makeup struggles, uh, but then I remembered there was a YouTuber uh, who named her channel Makeup Struggles, and uh, I want to preserve her memory, uh, so I will decline. She made really good content. I think just um, the pressure of everything is just, it is sometimes too much, and I'm very much aware of that for myself. So I'm taking translucent powder. I'm just tapping that through here in the hopes of we're not gonna erase it entirely, but at least kind of chilling it out some around the edges. And I've already powered, powdered the shit out of my lower lash line, or I'm sorry, my under eye. So this might end up looking kind of crusty. Who knew that we were gonna be doing like a whole episode of makeup fuck up today? Like a, a whole makeup fuck up journey. <laughs> the other option I have here is to essentially blend this out with another color to take a color that I know is gonna be opaque and cover up the blue, but I, I don't know if I wanna do that. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and do like the whole like baking thing. I, my skin might well be like fully saturated with powder and I might not get anything out of it, but we're gonna try. I don't know what the deal is with these color rain shadows. I'm gonna grab just a smidge of Yacht Life. I don't know what the deal is. Um, maybe mine ex maybe mine went bad. Maybe like their shelf life is actually, you know, a shelf life, but it, it kind of pisses me off. <laughs> I don't think they're a year old. They might be, they might be more than a year old. Uh, I might have to go check on that. But I think at this point, like I'm very much wishing I had gone in with a white base first. I always forget. Like, it, it just turns green, and I hate it. I hate it. Now with translucent powder. I'm gonna take this and just, and it just smears. Like, that's, that's, the, that's the word for it. It smears instead of blends, and it's really annoying. <laughs> so I think how this is gonna end up going is that the illusion is gonna be that these two lines are coming through and they're gonna make like a, an explosion of gold. Grab some more of this gold down here, give it a good spray, and we're gonna go with a fluffy-ish little brush right here on the inner corner. So we're keeping it, we're keeping the wet very concentrated just in this corner um, because we're gonna grab a dry brush and put it on dry to give it um, a feather out. And then I wanna grab some concealer and maybe clean up on my nose. <sighs> I'm just, it's just a struggling day. Struggling. Now I can see all my lines because my foundation creased. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm looking in the mirror behind the camera just to kind of check everything. Again, I'm being very fussy. This is more than adequate. This is um, like if, if your makeup looks like this, then like you're probably good to go. This doesn't have anything on it and I'm just kind of fluffing it out some. For elbow and highlight, I'm just grabbing Uli from the festival palette from Juvia's Place. I chose a cool one because I want it to try and blend out some of this here, which it has done. Um, okay. Time for just some basic, I'm just gonna put some basic black eyeliner in my upper waterline. I might put some blue in my lower waterline, we'll see. And I'll do my mascara, lipstick, and we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, so I am back and this is the finished look. Deceptively simple. <laughs> So before we do the whole outro, I just kind of want to recap a few things that we talked about today. Since this turned out to be 
kind of an adventure. One is that I think next time when I do, when I work with these blues from Colored Rain, I'm definitely gonna work on a white base. One of the biggest struggles I had, especially towards the beginning, was getting the right color depth in the base shadow work and I found that really frustrating and in particular down here and blending out that blue where it just turned green instead of fading out super frustrating additionally I think that working from darkest to lightest would have benefited this look a lot I attempted to do that right I attempted to put that darkest shade in first but there ended up not being enough difference between yacht life and neo blue to really create that depth that I wanted so I think in the future I would swatch colors next to each other before trying them out just to see if it's gonna make the depth that I want with regard to the liner I think that wiping it off was the right choice because I, th I think that especially when doing a new look, something that I hadn't done before, I needed to anticipate that my first go, my first try was going to be a wash and doing my other eye was going to help me refine what I had done before so that I could come back again and do this again. So either practicing beforehand would have been a good idea or even just kind of accepting from the outset that I was gonna have to start this one over probably would have saved me a lot of heartache. But I, I think at the end of the day, the most important thing to come away with when you're struggling with your makeup is that you always have the option to just not care, right? You always have the option to stop. So either just stopping and not caring and just kind of owning the flaws in your makeup is some of the is one of the best tools in your toolkit. I think also being able to pivot and go in a different direction than you originally intended is also a great and very important thing to be able to do. I didn't go that direction this time, but I very often do, and that's okay too. So with all of that said, if you liked this video, please do feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback on this look and what we talked about today and in particular if you liked seeing me screw up. If you want to see more from me in general, please do feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, at least for the foreseeable future. You can find me around the internet at Faces by Gina, both on Instagram and on Facebook, and I would love to talk with you there as well. In particular, on my Instagram, you get to see looks that don't appear on my channel, so check me out. I hope you're having a great day no matter where you are. Please remember to think deeply and engage with the world around you as you be good to yourself and be good to others as well. I will see you out there on the internet. Bye.